So uh, getting straight into it, Ustad, one of the questions that Facebook actually asked you, which I think is a, is a good place to start with this topic, where does the word Hajj come from? What does it actually mean? And as a byproduct, Hajjaj. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good question. So any word, Islamic word, is good to define it from the Arabic language, yeah. the definition from the Arabic language, and then the actual Shari'i meaning, the Islamic meaning to, uh, behind it. So, uh, Hajj in Arabic, it means uh, Al-Qasd, uh, meaning the, the way or the path. Uh, so, if someone said, I did Hajj uh, to this certain place, I went towards this place, okay. Tawajjahd, you know, as if I went towards. Uh, and also, the Islamic meaning is uh, where you are going towards Mecca, where you're going towards the Kaaba to do some of the rituals, to do some of the, the pillars uh, of Hajj in itself. So actually there is a link between the Arabic definition and the actual meaning of, of the word. Uh, as for my, my personal name, Hajjaj, um, there is kind of, you could say, a difference of opinion of where my actual word, my name, sorry, came from. Um, so with the, with the Arabs, uh, there's two types of names. There's names that come from like a profession of someone. Uh, so someone historically was known for to be a carpenter, for example, or to be an electrician, or to be um, a handyman. So, for example, the word Najjar is quite common, or Khayyat. Khayyat is someone who uh, makes clothes, for example, okay. or makes uh, thobes. So, because he's known in the market to do this, he'll be called Fulan, so-and-so, Al-Khayyat. And today we have a family name that is Khayyat. Similarly, you have Al-Haddad, for example. Uh, this is someone who used to make, uh, cut the metal. Or there's the word tahdeed, meaning to calculate, those who used to calculate uh, things from the star. So they will be called al-haddad. But then you will get the actual name that is not related to the profession, but it's because he does so much of a certain action, he becomes known as al-haddad or al-hajjaj. Okay. So some say that historically there was someone who used to do lots of Hajj, he done so much Hajj many times, he was known as Al-Hajjaj, okay, okay, because he does it so much. Uh, and then some say, no, it goes back to the individual Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al thaqafi okay. who was from Ta'if, um, at the time of uh, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz and, and the Khalifa Marwan Abdul Ma ibn Abdul Malik and, and so on.